All right, everybody, welcome back to the number one television program in the history of the entire universe. I am Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon, The Blackest Heart, and The Lonesome Crown, all three books published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. Today we're going to be reviewing <clears throat> Lyorn by Stephen Brust, or as some people like to refer to it as, is the book with the dog unicorn cover. That's a Great Dane unicorn or something. I don't know. Anyway, I think it's a Lyorn. Um, so this is book number 17 in Brust's Vladimir Taltos excellent, excellent fantasy series. In fact, I've got all of the books we'll pan through the library here i've got all of the books down here on the shelf that is my stephen brust collection of dragaria not dragria novels let's see it's d-r-a-g there's a he sets most of his novels in this land of dragaria i think that's how you pronounce it i don't know but part of the Part of the series, well, the, the, Vladimir Taltos is basically the main character. Anyway, this is book number 17. I've reviewed probably half of the books in the series now. Um, let me explain, well, the cover, let's talk about the cover first, because you know I love graphic design and cover art. I don't mind the dog unicorn painting. It was done by a um, artist named... Don Jun Lu, and um, most of the Stephen Brust covers up to this point have been done by an artist named Stephen Hickman, but Stephen passed on, so now we're getting new covers. Uh, some of the uh, Stephen Hickman covers are on the back here. Anyway, let's talk about Dragaria and what this series is about. Vladimir Taltos, the thief slash assassin slash um just spy master extraordinaire in the land of dragiria and um i think the book series is supposed to be 19 books long um we can see here there's this chart of all the major houses all the different races and houses that are in this land of dragiria and um, each one is represented by sort of an animal or a creature. And they all have names like Lyorn or Jerig or Tekla or Cleotha or Phoenix. Um, so it's a very extensive fantasy landscape. And after 17 novels, the world building is still expanding. It's just great. Now let's talk about the story specifically that's in this novel. Vladimir Taltos, as I already explained, is a uh, sort of an assassin, sort of a get things, di guy, get things done guy around the major city. And um, he's always in trouble. He always gets himself in trouble with his escapades. And he's got a wise cat cracking crew. One of the uh, strengths of the novel is the humor that is in the books. It's hard to write humor. I think Stephen Brust does it the best in the fantasy genre. Um, now in this particular book, you know, after 17 books, Vladimir Taltos has got himself enwrapped in a lot of different plots. A lot of different people want him dead. This time the people that want him dead are called the, a group called the left hand. They're very powerful and they are out to hunt him. And there's really no way for him to escape this group. So he goes into hiding in a theater as part of a, um, sort of a play, a reenactment of events. And this play is a reenactment of events that happened hundreds of years ago. And the play has been banned, but they're reviving it. And he's hiding amongst this troop of actors and actresses and stagehands and directors and producers that are partying, putting on this play. And he's doing a pretty good job of it. But then, um, you know, of course, Everything goes haywire for him. And, you know, he's got all of his, all of our side characters like Sethra Lavode and Kira and, and Tawny and, and all of the different people and, 
and his uh, sidekick, the uh, the muscle, his muscle. And and uh, one of the things is, most of these people have been pretty loyal to him. Well, that's not true. And in this book, will he be betrayed by one of his inner circles? Uh, it's a very good book. I, I, I love these books. I love the Vladimir Taltos books. This one was probably one of my favorites. It's probably longer than uh, most of them. Even though it looks like a short book, it's actually pretty long. But I'm going to give this one a solid... Gosh, I really love this. It's about a 10 out of 10. 